Mo, good afternoon. How you doing, brother? I'm good, Tim. How you doing, brother? Bro, I'm excited for you, man. I watched this film and, you know, I've been been checking your work out for a while, man. Uh, so first of all, congratulations, man, on uh, this film. Uh, good job. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you. All right, brother. So in these times right now um, where, you know, we just literally just had an incident, you know, last week when we're dealing with, uh, you know, law enforcement and and, and black men. Um, when you initially decided that you wanted to direct this film, um, I'm sure you were thinking around the time of several years ago when we were talking about some of the other issues, whether it's a Freddie Ray, a George Floyd. Um, did any of that come into play? And how do you feel about your film being out there? As I just said, that these these events sort of keep happening. I mean, I, I feel um, conflicted. You know, I'm torn. I, I feel for the loss of this young man and his family, and 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 for you know the community as a whole. Every time this thing happens, you you can't help but think about your younger brother or your son, or your father, yourself in this situation where your your life can be just ended. And you, you, someone else in his uniform has the opportunity to become the judge, jury, and executioner. And a lot of that is motivated out of their own fears and insecurities and predisposed to think certain things about certain types of people right now. And the type of person we're referring to is often black males. So right. in having this film at this moment, as sad as I am about the things that are happening in the world presently, I am thankful for the opportunity to have an artistic piece that for those that can consume it and open and understand the nuance of it can see how this thing relates to what's happening continually and the cyclical nature of it and the types of conversations that we need to have and the thoughts that we need to have that can begin to break that cyclical nature of these things occurring. And at the core of it is just transparency and honesty and openness of being able to look at, at somebody from a different neighborhood or in a, in a uniform or whatever that differentiating factor is and see beyond that and see their humanity, whether it's black, white, gay, whatever those things are, we just gotta see our humanity and there's our opportunity for to to stop this from happening. Well, Mo, I think it's interesting, man. Uh, there was a there was another film that that tried to to talk about race, and it's such a hot topic right now. That one was done more as a comedy. Your film is done more as a as a drama. Um, you talked a little bit about you know being conflicted about you know that your film is is kind of out there. Um, is it? I, I guess what I, I'm trying to conceptualize, to even ask you, is that by virtue that we're looking at this thing as artists, you're in, as an artist and an actor and now director, um, you're looking at this or your story is out there with these other sorts of stories. The dialogue, I think, is very, very important. Your film is good, but your film kind of adds to what's already out there. Um, how do you feel being a part of the 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 series or collection of directors that are putting out these sorts of stories that are are these kind of conversation pieces for the audience. Well, I feel a couple things. One, I feel honored to be a part of the you know the cadre of, of individuals brave enough to tell these stories, mm -hmm. first and foremost. But in full honesty, I feel like it goes back to that nuance, right? So they we're touching on similar subject matter. But I personally find my approach to be the to the subject matter to be unique and different in that although it is a drama, it's also absurd, it's a little satirical, it's also a thriller. So there's the genre melding because what I felt like was important to bring the entertainment expectation of the medium to the forefront. And then there's a lot of role reversals. And it actually, when you really lock in on the film, which I think happens sometimes in that second viewing, you realize a lot of it even transcends race. And I'm also talking about gender. I'm talking about class. I'm talking about how we interact with people with disparate point of views and perspective. But race is like the easy thing because that's on the surface. But in actuality, this is really compounding so many different elements and themes. And that's why I actually, even though I feel conflicted because of what's happening in the world, and that saddens me, and I don't want to talk about 
anything really, you know, to be honest, because I want to process the grief. That's where the conflict is. But in terms of this film being a contribution at this moment, I think I'm, I'm very proud to have this statement to make it the way that I'm making it exist right now. Well, Mo, I want to thank you for your time, brother. Continue success, man. Uh, your film is in theaters this weekend, man. I look forward to the audience's reaction as well. You take thank care. Thank you, Tim. I appreciate you for the real questions, man. It's a serious time, and, and artists, I think, have to lead the way. Artists have to be on the forefront in times like this. So thank All you. Right,